bad. Where England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, France and Italy play. And we won this year. Wouldn't get over it. <laughs> now unfortunately the ladies team didn't do as well this year. But ladies rugby, it's just getting going. And uh, they'll get better over time. usually expect in every competition that we do. <clears throat> this is a very expensive area. These houses were built from the 1830s when we had an outbreak of cholera. The upper middle class decided to move out of the city centre for cleaner air. They will set you back. You know, you might need to scratch the lottery numbers to buy one of these houses. We're coming up to a bar and restaurant called the Old School House. And it is for people who believe school days are the best days of their life. You can go to feel very rebellious. <laughs> or something to drink and if you don't want to leave at all there's even a hotel so it'll be the last building on the right the old schoolhouse a canal and this canal marks the divide of the suburbs of Dublin so the canal is called the Grand Canal but as you may know in Ireland Grand doesn't mean big so the boats, the barges, had to be pulled along by a horse. Hence the towpath. Yeah. Tow rather than tippy toe. The core of Dublin dates to a time when there were four kings called George. George the first and second didn't really speak to each other. And they really didn't speak English because they came from Hanover in Germany. George III went a little bit mad after he lost America. George IV had the most expensive coronation ever. In today's terms, it cost 1.4 billion. So that's the era we're talking of. And that's when Dublin was wealthy most of Dublin are four floors over basement terraced houses or townhouses. Apart from the one on the right, that's a hospital. This hospital is remarkable. More people come out than go in. writers, dramatists, poets, painters said marriage is grand, divorce is ten grand. <laughs> of the Earl and Lady Kildare <coughs> with the 19 children. Once more on the right, our Natural History Museum. Dubliners call this the Dead Sea. of the decisions are a bit antiquated. I think it's a fabulous building. Even though it is obscuring, 
St. Patrick's Cathedral. The St. Patrick's Cathedral is said to be the <coughs> oldest site of Christianity in Ireland. Or apparently, St. Ba Patrick was baptized here back in the 400s. And he was using shamrock to convert people. The three leaves represented the Blessed Trinity. Uh, I know there are four leaves on a clover, and that's because we all need a bit of extra luck. So this is our photo opportunity. If we are back about, about a quarter past nine. So 